hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel i'm nos id i want to talk about glasgow comma scale what is this scale used for it is used to measure the extent of impaired consciousness in a medi in, a, in an acute medical and trauma patient you know you don't just say a patient is unconscious without assessing the glasgow comma scale which is also known as the gcs this GCS was um, published by two neurosurgeons by name Graham Tisdale and Brian Janet in 1974 in the University of Glasgow, which came about that name, Glasgow Coma Scale. So this scale is very important in um, assessing the level of consciousness of a patient. So what are the components? The components are three, best verbal response, when we say best, you have to assess that patient and give the score on the best response of the patient. Best verbal response, sorry, eye, best eye opening, best verbal response, and best motor. So that those are the three components, eye, verbal, and motor. For the eye is four, verbal five, motor six, making it a total of 15 score. The higher the score, the better the outcome or prognosis of the patient, the lower the score, the the poor the prognosis is a patient with a prognosis of three for for days without improving normally if a patient comes with uh, with a gcs of three and you intervene you expect the gcs to increase from three to four maybe six and so on until the patient wakes but a patient that comes with a gcs of three and you nurse for several days months the patient may not survive so that is it but you know in few cases some come with gcs of three after intervention they increase and later wake so assessing the level of consciousness of a very patient is very important for health workers then um, for the eye opening you give for if the patient open opens eye con uh, spontaneously spontaneously in the sense that you don't touch the patient you don't call the name you just watch the patient on the on his own he opens the eye i don't mean when the patient is sleeping you do if the patient is maybe was conscious and sleeping you don't assess gcs by saying the eye is not opening no it is when the patient can open eyes on his own that's spontaneous even when patient is conscious some of them open their eyes that's spontaneous eye opening then if the patient does not open eye on his own until you call the name hey mrs sarah he opens closes how are you opens and closes so that's to speech then if the patient does not open to speech after you assess spontaneous is not opening to speech is not opening you can go by inflicting pain either giving a stroke inflicting pain on the chest like this or pinching some of the patient as soon as you just pinch them they will respond and open their eyes so that is still opening to pain in whatever form of pain you give and the patient responses is opening to pain and before you score two for that opening to pain that is you have really inflicted pain before the patient opens eye then um, no response as you can see spontaneous eye opening to speech to pain one is no response that no response is if you inflict pain and the patient does not open the eye you give one there is no score as zero even cops you score three for eye opening one for none verbal one for none motto one for none and uh, there was one exams that a student was asked how she can assess a cop a cops she after assessing the cop she said the, the man is not responding that the gcs is zero so it shows that student was not really aware or i've never read about gcs so the least score you can give to any patient including a dead patient is one one meaning no response so 
for the three components that will give you a score of three for no response <laughs> then um for best verbal response if the patient is oriented in time place and person you give five hey mrs uh, mrs sarah how are you today i'm fine what's your name she will mention what's the time of the day she will say this is noon um where are you i am in the hospital it's clear that the patient is oriented then you can score complete of five if patient is disoriented you now ask the patient where are you he says eh, i'm in the market you know that there is distortion somewhere so you can score four for that inappropriate this one you will just be talking saying things that you don't understand you score three okay inappropriate can talk but is not uh co as in is not coherent okay can say for instance now you say um what's your name i am gives you another name then um you now say did you take your medication today the patient says eh, medication no no i didn't take whereas he took then maybe for food he said what did you eat this morning a patient that ate um maybe rice can say i i ate tea and bread when you were told the ate rice you can see that is the patient can respond but it's not appropriate it's not appropriate then for in, incomprehensible what the patient is saying you don't understand he's talking but you can't understand what the patient is saying this one is worse than this one this one can talk but may not be appropriately but for this one incomprehensible you don't even understand what he's saying and it may even be incoherent here for this one nothing at all you ask the patient how are you what's your name everything none no response you give one then for best motor response best motor response for six obeys command hey mrs sarah lifts your hands the patient does lift your left hand the patient does that's obeying command localizes pain if the patient is lying down and you inflict pain here a patient that localizes pain will bring the hand here yes that's localizing pain then you score five for four withdrawal from pain if the patient lies down and you pinch this hand the patient will immediately withdraw from the pain see or you pinch the side of the body the patient will immediately withdraw from that pain you score four flexes to pain you pinch the hand the patient does like this that's flexion to pain you score three extension to pain you you pinch the patient's hand instead of withdrawing from the pain you see the patient doing like this that's serious that's very serious doing like this that's extension to pain you score two then no response is one so that's the end of that scale comma scale if you know these scales there is no question if you know all these scales there's no question that you'll be asked in the NCLEX exam that you will not be able to answer so for the NCLEX students just know the score know the three responses verbal uh, eye opening verbal and motor then you know the score of each of them no matter how the question is you will answer thank you very much for your time please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so as to get notification each time i make a new post bye